my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Efreda, Washington, and we are working through our sew along with our O Tannenbaum pattern. And today we are doing our fifth class, our fourth block, Flying Geese. <laughs> So this one is super simple. So this one is basically the same thing that we did last time. It's just a half a block. So a flying geese unit, there's a ton of ways that you can do it. Lots and lots of ways. We're just going to do a very basic, simple process, one that you can always reproduce. I'm going to point out where the flying geese blocks are. They are right here. So there's going to be one there, one there, one there and one there. And I just happen to think that is your pattern. Hmm. Depending upon when you got your pattern, because this will be corrected, your pattern would sh should say that you need three background rectangles that are two and a half by four and a half and one tree rectangle that's two and a half by four and a half and then you're going to need all of these squares. And so there's eight of them, and it does say that. Your pattern says eight gold squares, but in my case, I am doing um, silver with a dark blue background because I'm doing the traditional kit. And so I happen to have, here it is. So I have my tree rectangle my, these are my background, my background rectangles. And then these are my gold stars, which are actually silver stars. And again, I really like that whole scrappy look. So I like them all to be kind of different, but maybe you've decided to do just one gold, whatever you'd like. All right, I have two with each one. And now what I'm going to do is basically the same thing that we did last time. So here's my rectangle. I'm gonna put my square right on the top. I'm gonna get my ruler, line it up right on that line, make my mark. And then I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew this line. Now, if I were you, I would probably do that on all four of them. Make that line. Draw that line, sew that one. And finally, do this one. We'll do that and we'll be right back. All right, so here it is. Just on the one, I'm going to take my ruler. So just like we did in the last block, I'm going to line that up so that I've got a quarter of an inch from that sewn line. I'm going to trim that off. Make sure I've made the cut before I move the ruler. Come to the iron set my seam, which removes my friction mark. And I tend to add, especially with this fabric, I have that metallic fabric. What's really nice about that little metallic shimmer is that it does not wash off. It stays all um, shimmery, but it has a little bit of a thicker finish to it. And so you really do have to use a lot of um, best press or starch. All right, so now I'm right back up to my original rectangle size. I'm going to spin this around and do the same thing on the other side, right there. So I'm going to turn that, put my ruler there from point to point. And again, I would do it with my other three blocks as well. I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew from there all the way to there. 
All right, there it is. So I've sewn from here to here. Now I'm going to turn it because I'm going to cut off that. Line that up right on my quarter inch mark. Make sure I've made my cut before I move my ruler. Set the seam. And probably add a little bit of best press. And that's it. What's nice about doing a flying geese unit this way is that if you are doing this for other applications or other borders, um, other blocks, you know that whatever um, rectangle unit you start with, that's also what you end with. There's no trimming involved, nothing else. I've got my quarter inch seam allowance right up here and these have ended up right on the point. So I'm going to go ahead and make this block. I'm going to make my other three and then I'm going to put them right back in my bag because this is all block four and that's it. It was an easy week so next week we'll get together for our fifth block. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.